Hey everybody, welcome back to Whitetail Woods 365. I'm standing in an oak savanna that we just started this year. There's other videos on my channel if you'd like to see kind of how that process started out and what we're going for. But today I want to take you through the planting process as we put in a couple of brand new clover food plots. The first thing we're going to do is go out and just check on the status of the plots. Now I live about 45 minutes away from our property so I'm not down here all the time and I don't really know what the growth is like. And we're going to be using a rototiller to till up the ground. So one of the things I want to make sure is that there's not any tall weeds. What will happen is it will wrap around the shaft, clogs that all up and it's hard on the equipment. So right now I'm out just getting an a inventory on, on what this looks like out here and it's, it's not terrible but I am still going to come in and mow. You could choose to spray. There's a, a lot of uh, special glyphosate based sprays out there that you can use. We're trying to keep this chemical free uh, whenever we can. So what I'll do is I'll come in here and mow and, uh, and then we'll, we'll rototill over that so it doesn't get wrapped up. Yesterday I got down here and started doing some preparations on the food plots. Got in and mowed these just so the grass wasn't too tall, which can sometimes cause issues for our rototiller. Today my wife and I are down here and I ran the rototiller through both plots this morning and, uh, and then she came behind with the drag and that's just really to break, break up any of these big clumps and that's going to help our soil bed be a little bit more firm and a little more even for these seeds to get pressed in. Well, it looks like my wife is almost done broadcasting the seed on this plot. So I'm going to hop on the tractor, run the cult packer across the whole plot, and then we'll move on to our second plot for the day and finish up there. Historically, we've been putting in brassicas here and one thing about brassicas is they are high nitrogen consumers So one of the things if you're having a hard time with your brassicas if you notice uh, yellow leaves That's a good indicator that you didn't get in enough nitrogen now, Nitrogen isn't the most expensive fertilizer, but it can get pricey doing it year after year We noticed on this particular brassica plot last year and a couple of others that the production just wasn't as good as it had been in the past. So one of the things that we're going to try this year is crop rotation. So for any of you farmers, you guys are familiar with this. Uh, for me, this is a, a new experiment. So we are going to try to change this up and we will put in clover. And that's probably going to stay in here for the next three years or so. And then we'll rotate back through with a round of brassicas and test and just see if the clover really did a good job of adding nitrogen. So how does that work? It's something called fixing. So clover, a lot like beans, it can actually pull nitrogen from the atmosphere and that'll put it into its root system and in turn it gets into the soil as it decomposes. So it's like fertilizing organically for free um, and you just have to put in that, that cover plot. Well, things are just wrapping up here. We got over to the second plot. We're going to seed and cultipack this one as well and then wrap things up for the day. You know, right on the bag it says well, the most important thing is going to be rain. And so we tried to time this out. There was a little bit of rain last night, so we missed that. But coming up Monday, we're expected to get rain and that's going to help drive the seed in the rest of the way and then just start that germination process early. Now, Cabela's advertises their micro boost uh, coating on their seed and that's supposed to help with that. That's supposed to make uh, germination better, more even, give deeper roots and improve overall plant health, uh, which should drive to that five year uh, plot life that they advertise. So we'll see. We've had good luck with Tecamati in the past. We've uh, tried Whitetail Institute and we've had fair results with 
them as well. So this will be good. This will be the third major name brand that we'll be able to compare the results to. And then we'll share that information with you in future episodes after this has had a chance to develop.